So I just got my bike back from uh, Bush Taka and uh, they put all the bags on, they tuned up the bike, uh, they changed the cassette, they changed the, uh, the front uh, chain ring, uh, they changed the, changed the chain, <laughs> changed the chain. Um, the arrow bars had to come off. Uh, it didn't fit well in the cockpit, uh, just wasn't enough room is what they said and I believe them. Uh, looking at it, it didn't look like there was enough room either way. Uh, so, we have it here. I still have to get three bags, um, little bags, uh, for the fork. And uh, I'm still debating about getting a third one for the cradle. So let's take a look, shall we? So, as you can see, I put on the saddle bag. They didn't go with the bike to the shop because um, they didn't need to put it on. I can do that myself. Uh, clearance is good. Uh, it, not everything is packed in it. This is just for show and tell purposes. Got the new handlebar tape. I'm actually liking it. Um, it's brighter than the orange from the bike or either the bags, but you know what? I'm happy with it. The, uh, the contrast uh, looks actually pretty good. Cradle, we got the two uh, stem bags for food and drink. This is where I'm going to be mounting my phone. I was thinking about getting a GPS, uh, but I kind of already threw out uh, my limit for the bike for this year. Um, as much as I feel like getting a uh, Yahoo or a uh, German, I um, I just don't see myself throwing out three to six hundred dollars on a device I won't be using for the rest of the year, or just once this trip. And I'm pretty sure I can uh, do without it for this ride. So they they changed out the cassette, the chain, and they put on the uh, the new uh, chain ring. Most people go with a uh, clip out, clip in sort of set sometimes. Um, as much as I feel like spending more cash on stuff like that, I'm not going to. Just basic pedals. I put the water bottle on the bottom. I don't know if I'm actually going to put a water bottle here or if I'm going to put, uh, you know, yeah, I'm going to put a water bottle there. But it's going to be a closed off one. Um, so. It's going to get dirt all over it. I'm not going to drink out. It's going to be a, a screw cap one. Kind of like a, a Gatorade bottle with the orange cap. It's going to be something like that. So the uh, salsa anything cage uh, were added on. I have to get bags for them. Um, I'm thinking 5 to 10 liter bags. Uh, uh, what I'll do is take one of these off. I'll bring it to uh, Mech. I'll look at their bags. Fit one in. See how it goes and uh, just get two of them. They did all new cabling, although the routing is the same. Um, I figured the front bag that the cradle will carry, will uh, I'll just keep the same one that I already have. I might get a lighter one, I don't know yet. But um, I just won't fill it up as much now that I have an extra five to 20 liters on the fork I'll uh, I'll just make whatever's in here uh, smaller I think I had too much stuff packed on that bag again top tube two liter two-way zipper waterproof I haven't used it yet it's kind of stiff And I, uh, I really realized the problem that I was having when I was riding the bike, this flap kept getting in the way. The reason is, is that I actually have these flaps on the wrong side. Um, I kept thinking, was, hey, I'll just put a Velcro right here. Uh, these end straps are actually supposed to go on the other side of the bike. Let me show you about that. This Velcro strip here, 
is where those end straps are supposed to attach to, wherever you attach them. Um, and so I just have to take these off <laughs> and flip these around, loop them th back through again, and then it'll stick if it reaches. Actually, really happy with the setup. I think it's really ready. Well, as ready as it's ever gonna be. Or at least the bike is. The riders, not so much, you know? Alright, like, subscribe. See you later.